Hi, my name is Anil Nair and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. Alright, um, now we have certain types of functions um, that are um, continuous where they're defined. So as long as there's no asymptotes or undefined points, um, let's call these continuous where um, polynomials uh, rational functions so rational functions are just uh, polynomials over polynomials um, power functions so pretty much the monomials and polynomials. So x squared. I'll give you some examples. Um, this example would be uh, um, power function. Uh, so, fourth thing is a, maybe a trig function. This should be plural. Um, sine x being an example. And then exponential. Functions, uh, but for exponential functions, this only works for these kinds. So um, a to the x, where a is greater than zero and it's a is not equal to one. So an example would be e to the x. Um, um, also, we have a rule about compositions of functions. So we have some function like f of g of x. We want to find out if that's a, continu a continuous at c. Uh, if we know that, so if or not. So if we know g of x is continuous at x equals c, and uh, g of c equals some value l, um, and f of x is continuous at l, x equals l, so when you plug in l to f of x, continuous, um, then we know f of g of x is continuous at x equals c. Those are some good things to know. And uh, why do we care if something's continuous? Um, if something is continuous, so if we know it's continuous at a point, Let's say we it's one of these kind of functions, and we know it's defined. Then the limit can be found by plugging it. So, for example, if the limit as x approaches two of sine two x over 5 x to the third plus 1. Um, we see that, that we have a rational function that's defined inside, um, and that is continuous at 2. And uh, we have a composition of functions, both which are continuous. We can just plug it in. So we get sine 4 over um, 
8 times 5 is uh, 4 over 41. We can just plug this in. So that's the power of continuity.